Hello, Wonder Hussy here. <laughs> Out in the middle of nowhere, poking around, well, what I can only presume to be an abandoned mine site. I'm in a really, 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 really remote, desolate part of Death Valley. Uh, I just stayed overnight at a cabin nearby, and I'd had that cabin pinned on my map for a long time, been wanting to check it out. But while I was looking for that cabin, you know, I used Google Earth or Google Maps on satellite mode. I found or I spotted using Google Satellite what well, looked like some interesting ruins. So I pinned those two and well, I just went to the cabin, did all that, spent the night there. It was awesome. Now I decided I better check out this other site as well. And I'm not sure how I even saw this on Google Maps because there's no like big infrastructure left behind. Uh, I don't think I mean I've just I got here about 15 minutes ago I've been hiking around and I haven't seen any big buildings so I don't even know how I spotted this thing but since I'm here anyway I'm gonna poke around and see what there is to see so basically I just hiked up this wash uh, and it kind of dead ends here it looks to me like I don't think there was anything any farther than that I'm not gonna hike any farther there's that little hole in the rock wall there but that was shallow there wasn't anything in there uh, but there is a kind of a, I guess, at it over here. And you can see by looking at the uh, rocks on the ground, there's a lot of this really pretty bright, like turquoise blue stuff. And I'm not sure what that indicates, like what they were mining here. I feel like, is that like copper? I don't know. But there's a lot of it. I mean, the rocks here are just gorgeous. They're so colorful. Uh, golly, they had to be up to something good. Okay, let's check out <laughs> at it number one. I say number one because, uh, <laughs> well, there's at least one more that I passed coming up here. Oh, wow. Okay, well, you can see there's the ruins or remains of old narrow gauge rail, some old machinery. But look inside here, wow. There's still timbers, rails. Oh my goodness, there's all kind of notes on this pole. I mean, I guess these are just like, Assessment completed, June 22nd, 1985, for the year September 84 to September 85, Homer E. Stuck from San Diego. Wow, this guy, Homer Stuck, look, there he came in 1981, here he came in 1976, this guy just came back year after year, and I guess you have to do this to, like, keep it your claim, there's the original claim that he filed, I guess, September 4th, 1969. Look at that. Recorded September 19th, 1969. See notice in monument. Oh, we're gonna have to look for that. That's probably one of those, like, you know, you see the mine claim uh, post stuck in the ground and then there's like a little mason jar or something with the papers in it. I'll keep my eye open. Anyway, yeah, 81, 85, looks like he kept coming back. There's July 23rd, 89. Look, his signature pretty much stayed the same. Uh-oh. April 2020. Oh, visited by. These guys came and visited. Cold day with snow. I believe it. I was actually up in this general area last April and I did get snowed on. So if you guys are watching this, I feel you. Okay, so those guys were here visiting in 2020, but it looks like the last note left here by Homer Stuck was 1989. And it's kind of sad because his handwriting does look like it got kind of shakier there towards the end. So maybe he died after that and he wasn't able to come back out here anymore and file any more claims or complete assessments. Oh man, that's kind of sweet. It's almost like a chronicle of his life between 1969 and 1989. 20 years he came out here from San Diego, I guess, and poked around in here. Okay, speaking of poking around in here, <laughs> well, let's just take a look down this shaft. Oh, wow, there's a ladder. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. I don't have a hard hat on. I don't have safety gear with me. I just don't think it'd be smart to go down there right now. But if you were into old mines, man, this looks like a doozy. Okay, and so then the rest of this little chamber we're in, there's like a slot going down that way and then behind me here it goes down this way let's just go down this way a little bit like i said i don't have a headlamp i'm just using the flash on my phone so i don't want to go too far but wow look at this it's amazing these braces kind of freaky but look how beautiful colored the rock is in here holy moly it's like sparkling this is wild we'll walk a little bit farther because there's an old 
box here that looks kind of interesting. What could this be? Like an old ore cart? Or a bin of some sort? That's pretty cool. Oh man, this does, it goes back a ways. I feel like I gotta go a little bit farther. At least I don't have to worry about snakes in here, you know? Oh my goodness. Oh, thank goodness, a dead end. I just can't rest until I get to the end of these things. Oh my God, look. It's another thing going down there. I can't remember what it's called when there's those side things that go down. Yikes, I hope this uh, bracing holds. Let's get out of here. Not a good day to die. Okay, back out to this first area we looked in. Carefully step around that pit. Uh, this looks like it's also part of an old bin or cart or something. Okay, I might as well go down the other side too. What the hey? In the interest of being thorough. I don't think this side goes very far. Old wood, piece of wood. Yeah, this just dead ends right here. They must have not found much back this way. Pretty cool though, like that there's all these wheels and oh look this is like a weight <sighs> i mean it's very well preserved in here because we're essentially in a cave it's cool dark dry uh i guess this is like optimal conditions for preserving stuff okay wow uh i'll be honest i'm not really that big into old abandoned mines and mining stuff but that was pretty cool uh for me it's more about like the human element and so seeing that man's little handwritten notes that was pretty cool all right well i feel a lot better about this site now i was kind of like iffy when i first rolled in here like is this even worth it but now i'm interested because there's another at it right down the way that looks really interesting okay walking back down the wash you can see the beautiful colored rock everywhere it's freaking amazing you can see the beautiful desert springtime desert all around we're at elevation here, so there's plenty of Joshua trees. I think we're up around 5,000 feet, actually. It's kind of chilly, to be honest, which is amazing for Death Valley in May, but that explains why those uh, guys that came here were stuck in snow in April. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't think it snows in Death Valley, but guess what? <laughs> it does. Okay, so it looks like there might've even been a road all the way up to that, uh, at it at one time. Now it's pretty much washed away. Um, I suppose an argument could be made for driving up as far as this, but who knows what condition it was in, uh, well, back in 1989 when Homer Stuck used to come up here. <laughs> it's fun to think about uh, his life and what it was like for him when he made his trips up here from San Diego. You know, it's probably like a six, seven hour drive back then. Uh, he probably enjoyed getting away for the weekend, uh, assuming he was married. Maybe it was like his chance to get away from the old lady. Uh, come out here to the mine camp. Maybe he brought buddies with him and you know after they prospected all day or did these assessments or whatever it is uh, Maybe they sat around the fire had some whiskey talked about Politics, can you imagine the politics they would have talked about starting in 19 and 69 all the way through to 19 and 89 Whoo wee I'd have loved to hear some of them convos. Oh, look at this. Why, by gum, it's an old bathtub. So they probably had, a, there must be a spring up here somewhere, and they had water flowing through this, I'm guessing. Uh, oh, yeah, look, there's another tub down there with a pipe. So they probably, I don't know, rinsed out the ore here or something. Wow, this is a pretty solid bathtub, too. That's uh, not one of them cheap fiberglass tubs like you see nowadays. Who knows though, maybe that had nothing to do with the mining operation. Maybe they just like taking baths. Maybe him and his buddies, oh, what if him and his buddies were uh, gay? Uh, what if he was married, but he was secretly gay and back in the 60s, even up through the 80s, it wasn't as easy to be honest about your sexuality. So maybe they came up here to prospect and just be together and they would take baths out naked in the open air. Hey, it's just a theory. I mean, for that matter, he didn't have to be gay. Maybe him and his buddies were just nudists. You know, they were like man, manly men. They just want to be out in nature, naked, drinking whiskey, mining, you know, doing manly stuff. Oh, wow, look, here's a monarch butterfly. Isn't that a monarch? That We must be on the path that they take when they migrate. Oh, look at it. What a beauty. Hi, little feller. Just an unexpected little patch of flowers in this harsh, rocky landscape. That butterfly is going to town. Oh man, beautiful. I'm telling you, man, the desert is alive. Don't ever listen to anyone who tells you there's nothing out here. There's all kind of plants and animals. Okay, now we're coming back down to the road I drove in on. You can see my rig down there in the distance. So I just kind of hiked up to see what was what. Uh, really, like I said, not a lot of large scale infrastructure left behind. Old barrels and pieces of that narrow gauge line and stuff like that. But 
There's no buildings, which is why I think it's so weird that I actually spotted this place on Google, like without something pretty significant to lock onto. I don't know how I saw this, but hey, glad I did. Now here, this is where the road, I suppose in theory, I could have continued to drive up from where I am. And you can see the corner of my rig back there. Well, the road does look like it winds around here and then it really dead ends at this campsite. So this might've been where Homer Stook and his buddies camped out and had their whiskey <laughs> or coffee as the case may be. It looks like somebody was here fairly recently because there's an old coffee filter there. Hmm, interesting. I did see some fairly fresh footprints too and there was fresh tire tracks on the road coming in. So I'm guessing people do come out here to this lonely little site, but whew, it's gotta be pretty seldom visited. Uh, all right, well, here's some kind of weird rock thing built into the side of the hill. That's all well and good, but it's nothing compared to what I really wanna go check out, which is <laughs> that creepy old doorway. <laughs> Boy, that's the kind of doorway that can only lead to one place. Satan's lair. <laughs> Just kidding. Let's find out what's inside. It's interesting. There's actually a door on it. Like maybe somebody was living back in here. Wouldn't that be neat? Oh, wow. <laughs> Holy crake. What is this? It's not even really a mine at it. It doesn't look like it looks like just a cave with a bunch of probably unspeakably toxic stuff piled up in the back. Yeah, like some, who knows how many little critters live back in here. Yikes. Oh, okay, well, that wasn't too exciting, unfortunately. I thought it was gonna be cooler. But it does remind me of this video I was watching about this. There's this giant cave in Thailand or Cambodia, I think. Huge cave that's filled with billions of bats. Billions and billions of bats and they come out every night. It's supposed to be this sight to behold But what I thought was really interesting about this video is there's this whole ecosystem inside the cave because it's a huge cave It's pitch black, you know bats don't need to see they use echolocation to find their way around So they all hang out in the cave and they all poop on the ground There's this giant mound of guano on the floor of this cave <laughs> which sustains another population in the cave of cockroaches. Oh my god, the footage in this video was horrifying. There was just this giant pile of bat crap seething, swarming with cockroaches. Like, I couldn't think of any less pleasant environment to be in at all, ever, no way, no how. And then to make things even worse, there's these little swallows that also live in the cave, and the swallows were cute, but they made these little nests to hang on the edge of the cave out of saliva. Like, the, I don't know, somehow these swallows like hawk up loogies, I guess, and they build these really intricate little nests. Okay, so we have this weird cave full of bats, bat poo, cockroaches, and spit nest swallows. Well, people go into this dang cave, not just to harvest the guano, they didn't even mention anything about that. They go in to harvest the nests. The nests of these little swallows are used in bird's nest soup. Okay, if you ever go to a Chinese restaurant, they have bird's nest soup. Bleh! I will never, ever, ever, ever order bird's nest soup after watching that video. No way, I'm gonna eat soup made out of spit nests harvested from a roach-infested bat poop cave. Okay, well, anyway, that had nothing to do with any of this. It just reminded me of it being in that cave. Huh, well, gee, let's look around a little bit more and see if we can find anything else before I roll on out of here. Okay, so down here where I parked, it almost looks like there's like the ruins of an old camp. I mean, there's some old bits and pieces of machinery. Uh, that looks like it was a trailer frame, I guess. Maybe there was a trailer parked out here. It was like part of the bottom of it still here. So maybe he camped out in a trailer. Uh, that looks like an old refrigerator, I guess. <laughs> Look, oh, a muffin pan. Sorry about my shadow. He had muffins. Yummy. Oh, I could go for some corn muffins right about now. I'm hungry. Huh. That looks like an old bed. What was this? An old, is this like an old TV? A radio or something? Oh my goodness, I have no idea. Maybe it's just some piece of old machinery, mining stuff. Can't imagine he'd be watching TV out here. They probably didn't pick up any channels. Ooh, look what's collected in there. Yuckers. Is that sludge or just rainwater? It hasn't rained for a while. Let me see. I gotta find something to poke it, poke at it. Do you guys think it's going to be hard or gooey? Oh, it's hard. So it's like, uh, 
You can sort of feel it give a little bit. It's, let me find something harder to poke it with. Yeah, I'm gonna use this old can. Look at it. Oh, I guess it is hard. It sort of does feel a little bit gummy. You can see it gives a little bit. Basically, it was like an old can of some gross chemical that they just left laying out here to rot and pollute the beautiful desert. Thanks a lot, Homer. I don't know, I might not have been Homer. Maybe Homer used to come out here and try to clean it up. He'd take it, maybe it used to be way worse than this and he'd just come take a few cans every time he came up here and try to keep it clean. Oh God, look, speaking of cans, <laughs> spam, smoke flavored at that. Let's see what kind of beer they were drinking. Oh, this isn't even that old of a can, but I guess if he was up here till 89. Kurz, a man with good taste. Oh, here's another refrigerator. I mean, if they had refrigerators up here, where they must have had a generator and an actual... I guess there must have been a trailer up here then. I can't imagine just camping and having a refrigerator set up. Let's see if there's anything inside it. It always cracks me up how like the chrome handle's still shiny. Oh, it's just full of old stuff. Nothing to see. Oh, wow, doesn't that look like an old medicine chest, maybe? I mean, it's sort of still connected to the... Two by four. What do you suppose this thing was? <laughs> I was gonna guess like a like a furnace, fireplace maybe, wood burning stove. I guess it has a hole in the one in for like a stove pipe. I guess that's what it was. Wow, so there must have been like a cabin here or something, but man, there is nothing left of it anymore. Old wheel. <laughs> really old camp stove, I guess. Is that what that is? That looks like a really old camp stove. Holy cow. Just shattered, broken bits and pieces of presumably Elmer Sh Homer Stuck's life. Huh, okay, well, I feel like I've pretty thoroughly covered this area. Never did see any buildings. I'm probably gonna kick myself when I get home. I'll go back where I have cell signal and I'll look on satellite mode again and I'll probably see like, oh, I should have just climbed over that ridge or oh, if I would have just gone a little farther down that way. <laughs> Oh well, if that happens, I guess I'll just have to come back out here. But for now, I feel like I've covered it thoroughly enough. Uh, and I've got other stuff I want to check out. So I'm going to get back in my rig and keep on exploring beautiful Death Valley on this beautiful late spring day.